the ANC family, who gave their best and their brightest to the cause of liberty, who sacrificed the breadwinners in those families and said, go to the frontline states, go to Lusaka and wage this war on our behalf and we'll stay behind and we'll support you. So we thank you not just as the Tambo family, we thank you as the ANC family in exile. Um, there are many of them here today and you know what the people of Haringey did for us as citizens. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, during that time we, uh, we married a lot of South Africans in exile, we buried a lot of South Africans in exile, and to be, as I said, a child of exile meant that those families were embraced by the people of Haringey, supported, fought for, demonstrated and petitioned for. Families that you, the people of Haringey of Britain, restored. So that even from here, the long struggle was waged within a sea of sympathy and understanding. We'd like to thank you on behalf of the mothers of exile. Mothers like my mother, Adelaide Tambo, like Aunt Tembi Nobadula, like many who are here today, who, as I said, had to support those families, bring up the children, educate them, and find work and sustain themselves. At the same time as they were doing that, you were demonstrating, writing articles, educating the children of this country about our struggle and keeping it foremost in the minds of both the people of England and of Europe. And again, we thank you for that. They thanked God, those mothers of exile, that if the dawning of the day of freedom was to be decades away, then thank God that they had landed here amongst friends, amongst people such as you, colorblind, socially inclusive, politically enlightened, celebrators of cultural diversity, humane and kind. You reinforced our belief in the justice of our cause, in the democracy that we sought, and in the certainty and inevitability of its coming, of its birth. Ladies and gentlemen, Haringey was a home to the Tambos and a home of longing. As children, from a very young age, four or five, we were at convents, at boarding schools. And so it was a home of longing in that we were longing to return to Haringey, to our mother, to our home, to our sanctuary. We longed for our father to visit us on his occasional opportunities and dreaded the day that he would leave. We longed, Minister, for a Labour Party victory at every general election. <laughs> And we felt uh, Margaret Thatcher was in for rather too long. Um, <laughs> but we, we longed for your victory because we knew that that victory would accelerate the journey home, that you would enforce more properly the sanctions that we called for. And we longed, ladies and gentlemen, I guess for this day, when we would return to Haringey, having been home, return as free men and women, children of struggle for so long, but today citizens of a free, non-racial, democratic South Africa. And again, we return not just to unveil the bust, but to thank you um, as the citizens of Great Britain for your succor. The honor you bestowed on my father and mother today, I think is perhaps one of the greatest that I can imagine because it comes from you. When I would go to markets with her, the way people treated her, when Irish workers would work at the house, their reverence for her, for our struggle, their understanding, every aspect of our lives in England was supported by ordinary people. Some chose to apply individual sanctions by not buying an outspan orange by boycotting fruits, et cetera, et cetera. And we love you for all of this because we know that it wasn't easy and that you were doing something that was in you 
you, that your principles began with the anti-apartheid struggle. So thank you for being fellow freedom fighters, for walking stride by stride with our leadership and our people and our ANC family in exile for illuminating, oops, for illuminating the path um, in some of our darkest days. Sorry, I just missed a page there. And as I said, from being that home away from home. We thank Ar Haringey anti-apartheid movement and the whole anti-apartheid movement for your tireless efforts over the many years. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Mike Terry and to ask you all to stand and sing him happy birthday. Today is Mike Terry's 60th birthday and it happens to fall on this. Mike, where are you? Please, please come forward, Michael. <laughs> okay. Can we sing him happy birthday, please, ladies and gentlemen? Yvonne? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Ladies and gentlemen, a true hero, Mike Terry. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> um, but that's really it, ladies and gentlemen. We wanted to thank you uh, for today, for this fantastic bust by Ian Walters, for the plaque at the house, for the way in which you've honored my mother and father. Um, we wanted to thank you for all you've done for the struggle against apartheid. Please know that South Africa is your home too. You helped bring that country to liberation. We hope that many of you will come to South Africa. I'm not plugging our tourism industry. We, we hope you will come to South Africa as fellow freedom fighters to witness uh, the, the democracy that you contributed so much towards, to eat the fruit that you boycotted in those days. <laughs> Drink the wine that you refuse quite rightly to drink in those days. It's the best wine in the world. We didn't tell you that at the time, but... Um, <laughs> but to, to come to South Africa and to receive our thanks and our collective kisses and hugs as you welcomed us here. We want to embrace you as you embraced us. And uh, so please come. But more importantly, thank you, Haringey. Thank you, uh, the, the people of London, for all you've done for us. We really love you. Thank you very much. Well, Dali Tambo there ending his speech on a very uh, wonderful note. And I must say, Terry, I didn't forget. I was going to say happy birthday to you. So happy birthday to you. Thank you. <laughs> and just briefly, this route here, it leads to Clip Town. That's right. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, the, mem the memorial is about a living relationship of friendship and solidarity and love and affection between the people of Haringey and the people of South Africa. And as you walk, from the bust along the path it's called the axis of solidarity it reaches right to clip town where the freedom charter was adopted and of course i was privileged to work with trevor huddleston who was awarded this is Dwandani award at clip town all those many years ago in 1955 so we hope that this will become a symbol of real friendship and partnership between our two countries. But of course, uh, that walk would take you many, many, many years, maybe. <laughs> well, there are faster ways, but, but it was a long walk to freedom. It was a long walk to freedom. Um, but now that link, that walk is a very short walk in the minds of young people in Haringey. Well, Mike Terry, thank you very much. I think this was the best birthday for you, yeah. even though I say it's myself. <laughs> well, thank you very much. And uh, that's all from us here in London at the Albert Road Recreation Park in Haringey. We hope you've enjoyed the celebrations as we brought them live to you. And uh, from us here and the team, it's back to Desiree in Johannesburg. And capsule two is going to be provided by pupils and teachers from Alexandra Park Secondary.